And here they are. They show up both in uh, a form of blue. Uh, one's actually purple, the other is blue. And the takedown there was by Eric Stroner. And the escape goes to Van Wetzinga, makes it two to one. Stroner was ranked third in the state coming into the no, tournament. No, stop. And Rusty Van Wetzinger was something like We're four. Here now, Green. Stay out here. He finished fourth last year at 171 pounds. In the red ankle band, that is Stroner on the left. He has the yellow ear piece and the uh, also the knee guard. A luminous knee guard there, one that shines in the dark. If they were wrestling in the dark, you know which one is which. And Rusty Van Wetzinga is the man who was just taken down. It's now four to one in favor of Stoner. Stoner was very deliberate there. He did a nice job of clearing the arm, coming around, grabbing the ankle, coming around for two points. Stoner has three falls in the in the tournament. Right here. This is the first take, or the end of that takedown that he just got right there for two points. Stroner has three falls in the tournament and out of three matches. The side, and the yeah, first one was in just 37 one, seconds. Two, one. Well, that's not the fastest so far in this tournament. Last night, Matt Purdy, the heavyweight who's in the finals for Cedar Falls, had an eight-second pin in the, in the semifinals. The all-time state tournament no, record. Come up. In 2A at 189 with 34 seconds left in the first period. The leader is Curtis Heideman from New Hampton. In on him. Over Rick Sanger from Brit West Hancock. To the side, top. To the man on top on. is Van Wetzinger Two. with 30 seconds to go. He's leading four to one here in the first period. We've really enjoyed our wrestling coverage, bringing it to you this year Who's in our 15th running? anniversary of college wrestling and our 20th anniversary high school tournament coverage tonight. But Tim Johnson has been, a, I think, a great color commentator to work with. Had a, had a good string of them over 20 years. I, I was somebody who comes along Man, and, and uh, choice, sets me straight when I do something green, down, a little green, bit down, stupid, right but down. never says it out loud. I've been poked in the ribs a lot. That's why I like to travel alone when I leave uh, from doing things. Let I just talk down. to myself. <laughs> At the end of our, our meet here, Turn it in. we'll have some Turn him on. Turn it on. memories of the 20th year of the uh, coverage of high school Still wrestling. Up. A lot of the faces and the events that you might have seen in the past. A musical salute, actually, to our 20 years of coverage. This is Eric Stroner on top. Uh, running to Rusty Van Wetzinger. Stroner doing it on the bottom. Doing a nice job of controlling right here. And like you said, he's had lots of pins. And Let's he's always looking middle. for the fall on top. Putting the pressure on. Let's go. You gotta work Speaking of pressure, Heidemann from New Hampton is ahead six to two. Down on the two A mat. And in one A, the score is two to one with a minute and eleven seconds left in the second period. In. Two to one. Tolly Thompson from Janesville leading Wade Cruzy from Clarksville. One green. Back to the middle now. Back Brother to the middle of Chad Cruzy, who is a college wrestler now. Now eight to two, Heidemann from New Hampton leading Sanger from Brett West Hancock and still two to one with a minute left in the second period, Thompson over Cruzy. Now here it's four to two after the escape. Rusty Van Wetzinger got to a neutral position with Stroner and, a, and, and picked up a point for it. So he's within striking distance here. That was Pleasant Valley's coach, Royce Headlock Duncan. try by Van Wetzinger, ah, but it's out of bounds. No! No, no, no! still on! Cruzy from Clarksville has gone ahead of Thompson in Janesville. Three to two with 25 seconds left in the second period. Surfwood! 
This is the triple-A match you're watching, 189 pounds. Let's go middle now, Green, let's go. Look down the distance, the you can middle, see the Green. other two matches going on at the same time. 1A, 2A, and 3, a double-A try by Eric Stroner. Right there's what we mean by the three-ring circus, right, Doug? Yeah, that's right. That's here, a great shot. And here is Stroner getting a nice job at two points, down. yeah. Two Six really, to two. Move really uh, move gets in there and executes well, Stroner does. He's hard-nosed. Second period in 1A ends 3 to 2. Cruzy over Thompson. One period to go in 2A. It's 8 to 3. Heideman over Sanger. The team champions are going to be in 1A Clarksville, 2A Manchester, West Delaware, and also 3A West Des Moines Dowler. They have them solved it away. 6-2 to two here with the end of the second period in favor of Stroner. Here's the last takedown right here. It really does a nice job of changing his angle right here, dropping out and driving through on the double leg. Had a difficult position right there, drove through and controlled the hips and got two points, Stroner did. Nice job for the Webster City athlete. Stroner, Stroner started underneath here, but he got out very quickly and he's out to a 7-2 lead over his opponent from Pleasant Valley, Rusty Van Wetzel. Whoa, nice, nice move right here by Wetzica. Use it now, let's go! Van Wetzica to score. 7-4. One four. red, one red, both up. The escape makes it 8-4. Back to the middle, Green. A little more than a minute left on 1A. The score 5-2 now, Cruzy over Thompson. Stroner on the left. Let's go. Let's go, Green. Work it back in. All right, eight to four, and with about a minute and 19 seconds to go in the match. Van Wetzing of Pleasant Valley is a junior. He has another year to go. Stroner is in his farewell here to state tournament wrestling. And he's leading by four. And he's moving well. And he's, he's staying right in the middle, right where he needs to be, taking some shots. Ben Wetzica needs to turn it on right now. Let's go, back to the middle now. Let's go. 49 seconds to go. Curtis Heidemann's going to win his second state title. He just went ahead 12 to 5 with 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1 seconds left. He just did it for New Hampton. Again, Stroner keeping good position out there. He's not letting Van Wetzing get into a position where he could throw. Van Wetzing has only 15 seconds to go, and he has four points to make up. And he's not getting a throw position very well at all. And so Stroner looks like he's going to be the champion. In on a double leg. Official calls. Officials on even... Kelly warned Stroner yes, just before the yep. double leg. Right Ready. before the double leg. Actually, it was a, a penalty point he'd been warned before, so it's eight to five. Clarksville's Cruzy just defeated Thompson from Janesville five to three for a championship. And Stroner is the winner here at the Triple A division by the score of eight to five. That's a like we say a workmanlike uh, job there by Stroner. He was in the control all the way. Doug did a nice job for that championship. We were talking about Crozy beating Thompson. Thompson had been top ranked all year. The winner. Let's go to the awards at 171. 1A first. Top Roman Stuart Menlo. Sixth place, Jason Nines. Wade Cruzy, a single A, didn't even make it uh, out of the districts last year. He's from Clarksville. He was wrestling the runner-up last year, Tolly Thompson of Janesville, and Cruzy won it. Five to three, decisioning Tolly Thompson. Dick? All right, Dean, in the two-way competition at 189, Curtis Heideman did the chores tonight, meticulous in scoring six takedowns to defeat Rick Sanger of Britt by the margin of 12 to five. And there you see Curtis, a two-time winner, for Coach Arlen Severson. Now back to you, Doug.
one of the solid wrestlers. Let's, let's go to the award. Fifth place, Josh Henry Audubon. Fourth place, Chad Miller, Stuart Menlo. Third place, Roger Androy, Logan Magnolia. Runner-up, Tolly Thompson, Janesville. And the Class 1A 189-pound champion from Clarksville, Wade Croce. Crowd still buzzing here as many people get ready for the final awards over that big fall at the AAA heavyweight class. Presenting the Class 2A 189-pound awards, Coach Arlen Severson of New Hampton. Sixth place, Jason Pino, Carlisle. Fifth place, Chuck Steve, Clarinda. Fourth place, Dan Ryan, Emmitsburg. Third place, Frank Greiner, Washington. Runner-up, Rick Sanger, Britt, West Hancock. And the Class 2A 189-pound champion from New Hampton, Curtis Heideman. champion Curtis Heideman from New Hampton tough again this year the 189 pound class heavyweight place please report to the award stand heavyweight presenting the class 3A 189 pound awards coach Dick Kennedy of Webster City sixth place Thad Hoagland Newton Fifth place, Eric Cobb, Denison. Fourth place, Scott Burchett, Fort Madison. Third place, Eric Emzik, Lewis Central Council Bluffs. Runner-up, Rusty Van Wetzinga, Pleasant Valley. And the 3A 189-pound champion from Webster City, Eric Stroner. Eric Stroner of Webster City, the champion, and 3A 189 pounds. Eric Stroner. <laughs> 